right um the see through see through dress for my daydreamer project um this is just ordinary uh, drawing paper so not meant for airbrush and uh it will be harder to erase on this but for a sure purpose <coughs> sole purpose of showing you how to work those this effect uh, it will do I first start uh, with a basic color just nothing fancy I don't mind overspray it's uh, the flash tone from ETEC flash color straight out of the bottle just a little water in there but you'll see this uh, this needs to be white so I won't address this part only um, oh wait a minute there's a line missing you can't see it because Just a homemade handheld shoe. And uh, let me see. There she go there. First layer is on. Uh, what we do now is we get our razor out. Um, I've got so many. Let's start, try it with this one first. See what it does. Right, nothing. So, next one. You can barely see it, I think. All I'm doing is something the first lines in there. White lines that will mimic that dress. Taking the hot one now. Don't have to be very precise, but just general lines that are in there. That's about it. So. After this first um, erasing, I will darken up because there's an opaque paint. So I can go as dark as I want.
See if I can show it to you. It Here's the dress, and um, you got those white-ish lines. They're not really white, but for now they're white. You've got a very light part down here, and a darker part over here, and you will notice you see a shading around here going up there and up there again in another one so what I'm doing and let me turn it back right is start working on that shading And go back with your eraser. Keep working those parts. Hard to see, but is it? Just cutting some corners here, but Sharpen my pencil, eraser. And uh, for those. On normal average paper, I would do this with like shooting hammer with soft eraser. But paper sucks up a bit more paint so you need to be a bit more aggressive just work those basic shapes
after the flesh I will start darkening it up with a bit of grey because I'm needing grey for the rest of the dress again just straight out of the bowl this time it's you take EFX grey transparent grey yeah, there are a bit a drop or so just to make it a little bit easier and let me go back to the photo again there it is. You will notice this is grayish over there and here. There. All gray, grayish. And this is nearly black. So, go back to the draw painting. I will start by using a little handheld tube and In the darkest parts first. And you'll see. Yes. I make all my own sheets, so and always on paper because I hate this plastic or whatever shit they make it of. I really hate that stuff. So little mistake, erase that one. Speeding up things a bit.
little bit or hint of dress going over the other leg to um, erasing that back here. Yeah. Right, missed over the lightest parts. White isn't really white, so. Thank you. 
Notice how I'm just randoming or putting random lines in there because it's just an early stage and This is about how it works from the start. After this, you can add colors and keep working the basic line. So if you lost one, there you go. Well, this is about it. It's just as easy. You can use any color. You can add color. You can do everything as long as you keep working those. Uh, go back here. As long as you keep working those shapes, those lighter shapes, and uh, they don't have to be white. On the contrary, they have to be close to the skin color underneath the skirt. They will give you an impression of that skirt. So I just threw in some colors. It's just a few minutes. And like this looks like nothing at this moment moment, but let me go back. You will see it is really chaotic. No real defined lines except for this one that one uh, underneath here the darker one and this one and up here with the little dots you go over uh, back and forth and over and just let me go back get those highlights in Oh, nearly the right place and I think we will fall in place. Enjoy!